This one's gonna be on OBKey. It's a uh, open box key editor, but on LXD it doesn't have like a shortcut by default. And um, I'll show you what I mean in the future. But uh, we'll open OBKey so you can see what uh, it looks like here, all right? But by default, when you load it up, uh, just from the command and all that, uh, it loads up uh, the open box, you know, file. So if you highlight over this, um, what is this here? This save file here. It will just say rc.xml, and that's the one for open box. Since we're using LXD, it's a little bit different, so we have to load a different configuration file, and um, you know, to make it work with LXD here. So we'll sh I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna use this program called LXMed. Uh, what is it called? LXMed here, which I talked about in the past. It's just a menu editor, but it's a GUI application uh, that's written in Java, I believe. But anyways, it should be uh, in my preference here. It's called menu edit or main menu editor here. And hit that. We're going to put this into uh, the preference here. Okay. Our shortcut here. Um, we'll give it a new name, new item here. And we'll call this OB key. Um, I don't know. Key editor for the name of it. Now for the command, let me show you a visual first. Okay, we open a home folder. But in here in your home folder, all you gotta do is hit, um, you know, if it's not, if you didn't show all your hidden files, you hit Control H, show all your hidden files. What you wanna do is open um, dot config here, go in there, and then go to what is that? Open box. There you go. Open box. And in here, this is your configuration files for. Um, you know the open box um, windows manager uh, since LXD is also using open box um, the default one that they will always load is was at the RC XML for OB key we don't want to use this one this one's for open box this one the LXD one here is for LXD now if you're using like um, what was that one Lubuntu or something like that it might have another file called Lubuntu, so it depends on which you know system or whatever you're using. But since I'm using LXD uh, pure, then I'm gonna use this file. All right, so we're gonna make a command to point OB key to this file, and to do that from our uh, menu here. Uh, let me show you here what we do here. Let me make this. There we go. All right, so what we want to do is for the command, we want to type in bash dash c single quotes and we're going to use ob key and the location of this is uh, squiggy line which is for home dot conf what is it dot config here slash uh, open box slash um, lxde dash rc dot xml and we're going to close it with a single quote also since we begin with it all right so that's all you got to type in there uh, for the command uh, I'll post it in the description too if you forget or whatever, but that's all you got to do. If you want to write a comment, that's up to you. Uh, as far as the icon, yeah, you can choose whatever icon you have. I think I have one in here in the GNOME section here. Um, apps, which one did I use? There you go, key binding, all right. Um, and then hit OK, and that's it. You have your um, menu uh, in here, okay. So close it off. Uh, we don't need this no more either. So now when you just open or you want to add more hotkeys or whatever, you can do that. Go to your preference and then um, what is that? OB key key editor here that we created for our shortcut. Right? And just open this. And now this one, uh, just to make sure you highlight over this save button. And you can see that it says LXDE RC right there. And that's the one that we want to use. Okay. So that's that. And as far as how to use this program, it's pretty easy, you know. You go, I'll give you an example. We'll add a uh, a new one, All right? We'll call this. Uh, well, how you use this? Um, we'll add one new one here. Add a new action. By default, they have the focus here, but if you click on it, you have other ones. Most of these are like predefined ones, so you can't really change anything. But if you use the execute one, this one will allow you to use the command and all that. Um, so the popular one that a lot of people would want to do is xkill, right? 
Xkill is, let me enable this here for the name. So this one is, is forced quit. Some application is frozen or something like that. And it will kill it. And now we're going to assign a hotkey to this. So all you do is click on this first field here. And just hit in your combo, whatever you want to use. I want to use, uh, I don't know, control out K or something like that, right, for killing. And right here is just a text of what it will look like. So we're going to put the capital C, dash A, and then dash K, because that represents our hotkey there, right. Uh, and then you hit save, this little save button here, save that sucker. And whenever you want to kill something, um, let's say, for example, we have a leaf pad here. And let's say this program it's uh, frozen or something like that, or you want to kill it quickly, you hit Control Alt K, and now you you know point it to whatever application you want to kill. Boom, and it kills it. Anyways, that's how you create your own hotkey using OB key. Uh, make sure you point it to the right uh, configuration file though. Okay. Uh, everything else I talked about, I'll probably post it in the description, so make it a little bit more easier on you guys. That'll be it for this one.